Vamos. Vamos ver aqui o carro tá. Vamos ver. My goal is to get our communities mentally, physically, spiritually strong via using Krav Maga and self-defense. And, and um, the goal is to turn this into a norm. Like 24-hour fitness is a norm. Like we want self-defense training to be the norm. Krav Maga is an Israeli self-defense system that is you know, used by the military. Things happen, they take that technique, they think tank it, they figure out how to defend that person, they put it in a book. They've been doing it for almost 80 years and Krav Maga is like the only self-defense system that is proven in the military useful. I think of it as self-confidence, self-esteem, self-discipline, self-defense. A reason why, a bigger reason why I got into this was the women's self-defense. Uh, I grew up in a single parent home and I see my mom after my father passed away, try to find us a father. And in that she was, you know, pushed around and somewhat abused. And, and I just never want to see that happen to women. And then we have all this trafficking going on with young ladies and women. This is very near and dear to my heart. Um, I, 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 I don't see any uh, marketing for self-defense for women. If we're if we're guiding our children through life and our and our and, and women to be safe and and they can't defend themselves, then we haven't really um, done our job. And the goal is to still sharpen steel and you know go go against each other, push each other, build each other. And it's not a competitive space like if a person were to go to an MMA class or a jiu-jitsu class, because the difference is in self-defense, right? It's for practical use. I treat everybody as if they're my brother or my sister. So that way when they come, they always know that's my family over there. So we have a Kid Tough program and our Kid Tough program is um, basically to instill confidence and uh, hand-eye coordination, balance, conditioning, um, you know, get kids active. And, you know, if a kid spars with me every other day, it's gonna give him a different type of confidence. Exercise, discipline, and confidence. I think that's something that all kids need at this age, no matter what color or what age. Exercise, discipline, and confidence. As a parent, our worst nightmare is somebody hurting our children or taking our children or doing something to our children. The uh, martial arts and self-defense. I also think it's really important. And when I spar, I'm really doing good. Even though I get hurt, I still get up and do it and make myself confident by stuff. Lately, I've been trying to teach my students because at the beginning, it was all about the physicality, physicality. But more that I start to see that my students are having spiritual fights every day with themselves, right? They're having uh, mental fights with people, other people every day. And sometimes they'll come in and they're just so frustrated and they wanna punch things. And I'm just like, I see where I'm failing my students. I'm only giving them the physical. And it's because at first I'm kind of like, I don't want to really open myself all the way up, but I had to recognize that if I'm really here to save my students and save people and help people, I can't just teach them how to punch and kick because a person is going to deal with more spiritual battles and, and mental battles before you ever have to deal with a physical battle. Now I'm just talking more. Like I have affirmations I say with the kids, I am strong, I am confident, I am ready. I strive to be the best. I strive to be the best. Winners never quit. Winners never quit. Winners never win. Winners never win. Winners never win. Winners never win. I choose to win. I choose to win. Roost, 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 roost. Good job. Good job. The reason that we, we do that is because every time they come to class, if they're saying that, and, and certain kids are listening, trying to learn it, and it just, it just is imprinting something beautiful on their mind and their subconscious mind that they don't even know. And they will feel like what we say 
for the rest of their life. And I feel like that that is the success and that is the change to be able to get kids to imprint things on their mind via their efforts that they will carry the rest of their life. Thanks for coming out. We appreciate you, family. Oos. Oos.